And earlier tonight, Two On Your Side's Andy Payton had a chance to speak to Barbara about that incident and her reaction to today's sentencing. Andy? Scott and Mary Alice, the outburst encapsulated the raw emotion that Barbara and many of the other victims' family members have been feeling for the past nine months. And seeing Gendron today made all those feelings rush back. We're human. We like our kids to go to good schools. We love our kids. We never go in no neighborhoods and take people out. Don't do it. Tonight, nine months of emotion reaching a breaking point as victims' families gave their last words to the man who pulled the trigger before he was sentenced to life in prison. We're still living, but our hearts don't beat the same, and that's going to be for a long time. The shooter, Peyton Gendron, apologizing for the first time today. I did a terrible thing that day. An apology that to the families was just words. Honestly, I felt like it was, it was written for him. It didn't seem sincere. It was too short. And um, the whole time I didn't see like any sincerity out of him. I don't feel that he care, He could care less about what he did. I, I don't feel it at all. The 19 year old shooter looking to avoid federal death row with some of the victim's families calling for it. I don't see wasting another dollar on him. Others don't want it to be that easy. He should be scared. This is why I've said over and over again that I don't believe in the death penalty. Every day of the rest of his life, he should be scared. Mm -hmm. He should be fearful. He should not be able to sleep. He should, he should not have a waking moment where he does not think about what he did. But tonight, rather than remembering the horror Gendron caused, the families are choosing to remember who their loved ones were and the legacies they left behind. Cat was 72 and she'll come down the street and bust a move, you know we don't. You put some James Brown on, Cat be just same little dad, she'd just be happy, these funky glasses she would pick up, cause she was funny, you know? And that's what she would do when she come down. She'd make your day, man. This evening, families and their lawyers also expressed disappointment in Governor Kathy Hogel, who vetoed the Grieving Families Act last month, meaning grief will not be considered when determining how much these families are compensated for their loss. Reporting in the studio tonight, Andy Payton, Channel 2 News.